Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are fantastic and are really excited to join this DK class, right? And today I'll be covering chapter number one to chapter number four. And so let's just be excited for what's there, what's the knowledge there in the box. All right. So class, since I told you that we'll be covering chapter number one to chapter number four, so are you ready? to embrace your knowledge and to ignite that fire of passion. Right, so we'll be covering amazing abbreviations, some great speeches of the world, and we'll also know about world airlines, and we'll also get some antonyms, right? Yes, to begin with, let's start with some amazing abbreviations. So class, do you know what are abbreviations? Yes, abbreviation is a shorter form of a word or a phrase. Supposingly, that word is big, right? And it's too big. So what we have done here, we have just created a shorter form for that word or for that phrase, right? So we have WWF, UNESCO, UNICEF, NASA, SUV, SARC, ICC, ILO, ISRO, NATO, JPEG. So all, are, so all of them are the abbreviations, right? So one by one, we'll also know the full forms, right? So the first is WWF, which is World Wildlife Fund. And the second is UNESCO, UNESCO, that is United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Then we have UNICEF, which is the United Nations Children's Fund. Then we have SARC, which is South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. And in this, we have Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka as their member countries. Then we have ICC. I think you all would be aware of it. International Cricket Council. Then we have ISRO. You can see the picture, the beautiful picture showing and reflecting you what all been done in ISRO, which is Indian Space Research Organization. Then we have NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Then we have ILO, which is International Labor Organization. Yes, you can repeat with me, International Labor Organization. Then we have JPEG, which is Joint photographic expert group then we have this pen drive with us which is also known as usb universal serial bus then we have suv which is sport utility vehicle then we have nato which is north atlantic treaty organization Okay, now we have learned some amazing abbreviations. Now it's our turn to move towards some beautiful speeches and let's see who have delivered those famous speeches. Plus, you know that words are the most powerful tools to transform the world. They have the power to motivate and inspire millions of people. So among us, we have Martin Luther King Jr. We have some great um, other people also, which are great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Swami Vivekanand, William Leon Fields, Winston Churchill, Nelson Mandela, Abraham Lincoln, Lou Gehrig, John F. Kennedy, Jawaharlal Nehru. Right? So let's just see what all famous speeches they have delivered. So to begin with, we have we shall, so this is the title of that famous speech and this is the leader or the world famous uh, people who have delivered those speeches. So first we have, we shall fight on the beaches, which is delivered by Winston Churchill. The second is, I am the first accused, which is given by Nelson Mandela. Third, farewell to baseball which is by Lou Gehrig. Then we have Trist with Destiny. For that, we have Jawaharlal Nehru. 
next we have we choose to go to the moon which is by john f kennedy then we have i have a dream which is by martin luther king jr next we have gettysburg address which is by abraham lincoln then we have quit india by mahatma gandhi then we have the pleasure of books by william leon phelps chicago speech by swami vivekananda okay so now we'll be moving towards some uh, amazing antonyms also so you have to guess the antonym and i'll be discussing the word with you right so the first word we have is wondrous okay so what do you mean by wondrous okay just um we are discussing the word wondrous okay let's get back to wondrous it means that is to be marveled at or something which is extraordinary and we get marveled at it right example we have the museum featured a display of wondrous tapestries right which are some extraordinary tapestries then for the next example we could say what a wondrous discovery fire must have been right so the antonym is some common place right so the next words are amnesty which means release from the guilt of penalty of an offense so when you commit an offense and are you released you are got released from the guilt or a penalty then you say amnesty it is a meaning of the word amnesty a general amnesty for example so the antonym would be blame right now the next word is pompous which means having or exhibiting self importance and the antonym is humble the next word we have is tyranny which means oppressive power and the antonym is democracy so the next words are frosty frosty means briskly cold or producing frost means freezing right for example we could say we received a frosty welcome right very cold welcome and the antonym is yes sweltering okay the next word is flourish for uh, flourish means to grow luxuriantly or to achieve success right and the antonym for this word is dwindle the next word is anxiety which means Fe feeling uneasiness or nervousness right and the antonym for this word is relief you get relaxed you get relieved okay moving towards the next word which is radical meaning not bound by traditional beliefs or ways right for example we can say the computer has introduced radical innovations or we can say a radical wing of extremist right and the antonym for this word is conservator now moving towards our next word which is charity i think you all are very familiar with this word which means generosity and helpfulness or love of humanity for example we can use it as they raise fund for charity or we can say for example holidays are time for charity and goodwill for the uh, and the antonym for this word is theft right okay now let's just explore some world airlines right you all like to fly like to travel right so it's good for you to know some world airlines which airlines travel from which country and what are their destination points and in which country which airlines are working so we have some okay so let's talk about these world airlines and you know there are numerous airlines operating across the world all of these airlines operate from different countries of the world we have cathay pacific lufthansa aer lingus egan klm dutch airlines 
Qantas, Air India, British Airways, Japan Airlines, em Emirates, Thai Airlines, and Asia Airlines, right? So one by one, we'll have a look on each of them. Okay. Yes. So this is Air India. So you can see the origin is India. The founder is J.R.D. Tata. And it is frequently operated routes are Bangalore, Cochin, Hyderabad, Delhi, and Jaipur. Right? Then we have British Airways, which origin is UK. And it is uh, frequently operated routes are Zurich, Venice, Tokyo, Sofia, Francisco, and etc. etc. And the next we have is Cathay Pacific. For its origin, it's Hong Kong, and frequently operated routes are Bangkok, Frankfurt, Dubai, Tokyo, Singapore, right? Okay, moving towards the next flight or the next world airline is, you guess it right, it's Emirates. Origin is UAE, and its frequently operated routes are Dubai, Paris, Venice, Auckland, etc. Now we have Japan Airlines, origin is obviously Japan and uh, operated in Delhi, Paris, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Beijing, etc. Then we have KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. The operated, frequently operated routes are Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Zurich, San Francisco, Cape Town, Amsterdam, etc. Then we have Qantas, which origin is Australia and frequently operated routes are Bangkok, Tokyo, Jakarta, etc. Next we have Thai Airlines and its origin is Thailand, right? And its frequently operated routes are Beijing, Seoul, Tokyo, London, Sydney, Hong Kong, Auckland. Okay, so we have already guessed all the antonyms, right? I hope you all enjoyed this session and uh, all, are you, all of you are doing well. So we'll meet you next time. And for this time, thank you all and have a good day. So bye class, bye students, bye everyone.